Hi guys, uh, today we are going to see the ATS panel. So this is the ATS panel. This one is small ATS panel. After that, I show you though how to connect ATS panel connections and how what how to make uh, ATS panel control diagram and what is meant by ATS panel. Those are things I sh show you after that. The after two minutes, I uh, see here. Uh, this one is main and this one is generator. Not like that. If you have a two supplies, supply one and supply two also, this is for not not a problem so this is for two conductor this one is main conductor this one is generator conductor this two connectors after that loop to take the load this is for load connection so this is a main power circuit after that uh, we have uh, some controls on here see here this is for common relay that means the CAD relay this is for control fuse uh, that means the uh, common control fuse uh, this one is for ma mains indication lamp control fuse and then generator indication lamp control fuse uh, this one is supply once uh, power failure relay and then timer one this one is power failure relay two for supply two and then timer two this one is r1 r2 uh, this is the thing we made for ATS panel inside uh, after this we see the outside of ATS panel see here this these three for main supply and these three for generator supply this one is start that means the run and trip and run and trip so this is for start push button stop push button this is for hand off auto this is for hand off auto for supply 2 this is part this whole part for supply 1 and this whole part for supply 2 so this is for outside of ATS panel for simple ATS panel this is for very small ATS panel uh, if we make for big ATS panel we need to put a voltmeter and ammeter and a heads meter those are things what are things we need to add, add those are things and then this is for interlocked conductor that means the one con the one supply at the time will be operated operated that means the mechanically interlocked inside of uh, this uh, that's all after that we see for how to connect ATS panel just a minute hi guys uh, today we are going to see the uh, ATS that means auto transfer switch so today we are going to see the uh, basic function of auto transfer switch and uh, how to we control the simple auto transfer switch connection also uh, first of all I explain the what is mean by ATS the simple explanation uh, first thing we have a two supplies that means of any of supply one and supply two so we have a one load that means any of motor so uh, here we need to run this motor for continuously without interrupting supply so we either here we have a two supplies so this two Supplies simultaneously switched on and switched off any of that happened here so the motor will continuously need to run here so this thing we need to make by using ATS so what's the function of this ATS that means here uh, one interlock will be placed on here that means the first one and second ones not operate for at the time that means the first one is switched on the second one is switch off the second one is switch on the first one is switch off so that means the any of one is switched on in the in these two so that's the thing the ATS the main purpose so after that the continuous power supply of this motor if any of load we have so this is the thing we need to make on here uh, before we are designing the ATS uh, we need to make a some production circuits that means the power circuit uh, now I shed out the power circuits uh, first power circuit we need to made a some switching that means MCB that for over current production over current production so now I am showing for simple single phase ATS panel so after that we made one OLR that means overload production relay so after that we made conductor the main conductor 
after that we connect for load so same like that we need to mate here the second connector k2 k1 and then olr and then mcb and then supply 2 this one is supply 1 so this is a thing that means the single load be connected for two supplies so here continuous supply we need to giving a supply for this load this is a thing we need to do here so how to the how to we control this whole system uh, now i show you some uh, control circuit how to we connect this whole system uh, before that the k1 and k2 is the main conductors the this two conductors is uh, mechanically interlocked on here mechanically or electrically interlock on here so whatever you need to your convenience so we need to make here so this is the interlock because of uh, the one supply will be operated for at the time not for two uh, before that i show you some control diagram on this just a minute before that i showing control diagram we need to make common power supply that means uh, we have a two power supply suppose we made a we make a control diagram that times that means if if we take supply one that means the supply one is switched off the total control going to shut down if we we'll, if we will take supply two that time the supply two switched off total control going to shut down so this is the thing we need to make a common power supply that means we made some relays so some one relays and that relay to we make some common power supply so i show you the some relay to show the common power supply just that means uh, bus now we have one relay take this one is r1 so here we are giving supply for phase and neutral for supply one okay here uh, in this relay having a two relay ports that means and then here also we make n o and then so here uh, this one is common this one is common one and common two so this one is normally close and this one is normally open so this one is normally open this one is normally close so here we are giving phase two and neutral two this one one that means this two for supply two this two for supply one so here we got continuous supply how is it possible see here this one is common supply see here uh, if in case supply 2 is switched on we got this this coil going to that means the relay not energized because of we are giving supply 1 so that time we got a supply 2 the 2 p2 and n2 through we got continuous supply suppose supply 1 is switched on this relay is energized that time the nc going to connect this NO and then this NC going to connect and this NO that means the common going to connect NO and this common going to connect NO so at that time we got power supply through S1 that means supply 1 so we we got continuous power supply on here so this is the continuous power supply common power supply on ATS panel after that we need to make a control the whole control of ATS panel see here this two uh, this two just a minute these two we take a common power supply on here after that we made some fuse on here 
so neutral as usual we take for round side so after that we made this is for common face so here we make some relay so we in this ATS panel we need for what are the things that means what are the components we need uh, just I'll write it in last first thing we need two MCB and then second one conductor as per rating of your load and then third one is OLR and fourth one is uh, relays mostly we need one or three more release we need so release and then push buttons and then what are the things we need done out outside we need to put that one so before that we made in here first thing we need for hand off and auto that means we need hand operation also auto operation also what is mean by hand what is mean auto if in case automatic will be uh, problem that means any of maintenance of any of problem on that automatic that time we need to maintain hand operation so here this one is hand this one is auto so hand mean we select in using by selector switch in hand after that we made stop for normally close and then start normally open after that we we need to winter lock on another one system so that's why I, I made here this is for QM that means the supply one just I wrote it in here K1 this one is supply one's conductor I draw in power diagram that time I mentioned in K1 that's why I show in K1 so this is for main supply this one is K2's NC supply so okay we press start start push button on here after that this push button going to that position this conductor going to switch off how to we switch on this conductor so that's why we need to make here k1 so the now we press this one the k1 has been energized through this start button after that this this start going to release the through the k1 nc connect going to close no sorry no connector going to close nc though so the qm that means the k1 continues get supply so this is for hand operation this is going to operate the good operation after that we need for some indications that means the supply is on or off so that's why we need to make a here just a minute i need to make some i need for some auto space so that's why i show you i need to so here we made for r1 and then r1 this one is start that means run this one is trip so this is uh, for R2 where is this R1 you have a question I know before that we need to made here the K1 is NO and then made for R1 on here so this R1 we are starting main supply that time the K1 has been closed and this R1 will be energized and the start and stop trip any of that here we we got signals that means these two as indications so if you start the main supply the start signal will be show the run signal will be showing outside of indication lamp and then this R1 is tripping that means the trip or stop of the QM that when that time this one is showing you before that I should be the ATS is a very big 
things so that's why i take some very much of time before that the at spinal need to uh, need for uh, phase failure relay here phase failure relay because of the phases are failure that means the two phases are available and three phases we need for three phases the two phase is available also this is going to operate so that's why we need to put on phase failure relay on here so this phase failure relay going to uh, search that means the three phases are available after that this one is going to operate if in case the three phases are not available this one is not going to switch on this supply so this is the thing we need to put the phase failure relay on here then in the auto operation the how to we made auto operation here we need to make here t1 the timer one so we put on timer one here so this timer one going to connect here that's all this is for auto operation that means the you select in r2 the timer one going to energize that means the after five minutes are the any of these stated here after that this t1 is going to connect and this and the qm that means the supply one going to connect it. so this is the thing in for supply one suppose we going for supply two we need to extend this one so we need to extend this diagram uh, just one second hold this one uh, see here right I don't have a space that's why I show for this diagram to change something uh, how do we change on here just I show it the same diagram you need to draw in next but I don't have a space that's why I show you for uh, some changes on here see here face ferial one and first and face failure two for second after that you made in timer on 2 and k2 and then here you need for k1 that means the timer sorry conductor 1 supply so here we need to for k2 and then here timer 2 and then r2 r2 k2 r2 so that's all this is the thing after that we need to make something on here uh, where I put uh, that one just a minute that means the power failure this one is if this one is what the purpose of auto after that we need to put phase failure one why I put this one you know uh, because of if our if your first phase going to failure the second phase that means the second one is going to automatically automatically switch on by using the phase failure relay this one so that's why I put this one uh, that means that means if your first one is switched off the phase failure relay really going to that position so your second one is switched on so this is a thing we need to switch on switch off by using ATS panel if you have any doubt please come on here uh, this is a simple method of ATS panel if we need to add some external phase failure relay and then any of that you need to add something something control on here control that means you need to add some indications or a BMS signal any of that uh, that's all guys if you have any doubts please comment here thank you for watching